Let's have a gun debate. Oh boy. We have this story from the Daily Mail. Gun-wielding oh, Texas yeah. man who shot dead his partner's ex-husband during furious child custody row will not be charged after shooting is ruled to be in self-defense. This is a very, very interesting story. So you can see here these two guys are getting at it. One guy's got a gun. I think it's a, it's a um, I can't remember what, what, which kind of gun it is, but it's a 9 millimeter uh, long gun of some sort. So uh, I'll just give you the quick rundown, and then we're going to have this debate because, you know, we were talking about a bit, about, uh, a bit before the show. So this dude is told, you pick up your son from your ex-wife at 315. He shows up. His ex-wife says, no. He says, where is my son? Hmm. She says, I wanted to stay with him longer, so I'm not going to be giving him to you. And he says, you know, in fact, he basically is like, I'm here because the court says 315, he is mine. I come here at 315. And then he goes, I'm going to drag you all, you, and marie and so-and-so to court. Right when he says this, his ex-wife's boyfriend comes out with the gun and comes on the porch and tells him to get out. The dad gets up in his face, doesn't use his arms, and starts saying, oh, are you going to shoot me or something like that? The dude with the gun fires one in the ground. Then they, they tussle, spin around. The dad pushes the homeowner a few feet off his porch. And the homeowner, the, his wife's ex-boyfriend, or his wife's current boyfriend, his ex-wife's boyfriend, immediately raises the rifle and goes pop, pop, towards his own house, hmm. hitting the dad twice, killing him instantly. I believe it was instant. Now, uh, the, the court is saying he is not going to be charged with a crime. This one's tough. Because on the letter of the law, I'm torn on this one. Was he acting in self-defense? Did he have a right to shoot and kill this dad who was coming to get his son? There's two ways I look at it. The first is, if the court tells me, be here and get your son, you have to do it. It's custody. Like, you, have no, you can't just ditch your kid. And I show up, and they're like, we are not giving the kid up or telling you where he is. Mm -hmm. And then the dude walks out with a gun. I'm going to be like, you've kidnapped my child, and now you're threatening me with a weapon. I'm here under a court order. Does that guy have a right to come out with a gun? On that alone, I'm like, No. And then not only not only did he shoot and kill the dad, he pointed he shot he shot and killed the dad towards his own house. Mm. That's one of the one of the, the rules of gun safety. Know what is beyond your target. He could have shot his own daughter because his daughter was filming on the inside. I couldn't really tell when we watched the video. Maybe we can watch it again. I don't know where you're planning on playing it. It's a, I don't know it's, if we can play yeah, it's it. Pretty it's pretty brutal. A video of yeah. a dude dying. But the daughters are in the house filming out the window. Okay. When he aims at him and fires his, I can't tell if he's pointed at the house or like it's pointed house. sideways it's, alongside the house. No, well, the guy it's, it's, was it's on the, the porch, so I'm pretty right. sure it was at the house. And then the other problem was that he shot into the ground to sort of escalate the situation. Yep. And that's another no-no. You don't fire warning shots, right? Like, because you don't know what's where you're pointing. I, I think they knew each other. The big dude was abusive and the little guy. Why was the big dude abusive? I just have, this is the feeling I'm getting from this. The big guy was notably abusive. That's why they weren't together. And the little guy, they knew each other and they hated each other. Or like clearly hate each That's other. That's the vibe sure. I was getting. Because he went right at his face when he came out with the gun. They got right in each other's face. So this is the problem I have with it. If the the assumption of uh, this guy's name is William Carruth, who, who shot and killed Chad Reed. If you're in your house and you hear fighting outside and you don't know what's going on, you have a right to keep in bare arms. It's your property. I agree. I, I might get my gun as well. People are screaming. I'll be like, I don't know what's going on, but there might be something bad happening. You walk out with your gun. Next thing you know, a guy gets up in your face and screaming at you. Your first reaction is to fire into the ground as like, you can call an escalation, but if you have the option to shoot the guy who just got up in your face. Maybe he just panicked and said, I, I think it's stupid to shoot in the ground, mind you. And then the guy grabs you. You both spin. He pushes you back. Now he separated you from your home. He could go in and harm your daughters. Hmm. So you say, nah, -uh, pop, pop. From that perspective, I'm like, I get it. We don't know what this guy knew. But the problem is, man, the, the, the Chad Reed guy was there legally to pick up his kid. And, and it didn't even get, there was not enough time for him to even call the cops. Apparently, his new wife was already calling the police about, about the argument when the, art, when the yelling happened. And all the dad said was, I'm taking you to court. Like, not yeah. even a threat of violence. And the dude was out with a gun. That, that, this is the challenge here. Because... If this dude, William Carruth, knew why the dad was there, you know, and what was going on and came out with his gun, then I'd say charge him. But we can't assume he did know. And he can just be like, I had no idea. I heard yelling. And then it's like gun rights. 
if people are fighting on your property, you got a right to defend it. And like you said, and we don't know the history of, of these two guys. I mean, it's possible that they've gotten into it before. He knows that this guy could potentially come into the house and harm his own children or, or be looking for this kid. I mean, we really don't know the situation. I'm also sympathetic to the idea that if you're son is being withheld from you and you have a right to be with your son then parental instinct kind of kicks in and like people will do anything to save and help their children if they feel like their children are being parentally kidnapped so i understand that impulse 